Hey guys, I'm back. More butcher paper drawings. Uh, I did something different this time. I don't know if you can see it. Probably not. Um, you'll see it when I start to draw it, obviously. Uh, yeah, it's kind of cool. And I'm going to use... Uh, the line is a little bit finer. I will tell you that much. Um, I'm going to use the Art Primo. The black, I le really like the way it turned out on the uh, other one we did just a few days ago. Um, and uh, I do have two of these ready to go. This is my first one. So I have a big cl <laughs> clamp on the um, paintbrush tray of my easel. Uh, that's kind of weird in the frame, I know. Uh, it was falling off and I'm gluing it. So let's go. Let's see, where do we start? Uh, I think we start here. I'm gonna start at the top. I've been shaking this before I uh, got my camera going. Before I got the video going, I started to shake the paint. Nice, oh, so good. It's so nice and smooth. I don't know why I'm shocked by that. I kind of dig it though. A little crab walking it over here. The smell is kind of strong. Um, it's not a sharpie smell. It's a it's a paint definitely a paint smell. Can you guys see now what I'm gonna do? Oh, it's so good. Like, I really, really, really dig this. I'm, gonna, I'm just going to stop for a minute. I'm not lifting it. I'm just giving it a squeeze. You get a nice, oh, running into that clip. <laughs> nice line. I'm going to go up here. And you see what I'm doing? Took a while to uh, draw these guys out. Um, a really good friend of mine, uh, artist, she does sketchbooks, showed me how to create um, patterns with tracing paper. And it, uh, I will admit, when she showed me, it, it, it moved me. I was so moved. Um, I kind of got a little weepy. I don't know why. Um, I was really kind of like, it's a really super simple concept and I think it really lends itself to my drawings. So I've made a bunch during uh, lockdown, which we're not really in lockdown per se anymore. Um, and I did some cyanotypes of them. I used the sunshine and uh, the heavy blue to create some cyanotypes of them. So that's really cool. And I thought they would be really cool as something to paste. So I need to just sort of check where I'm at here. I just wanna make sure these lines are nice and thick. Okay, I'm gonna go out here. So the concept of making the pattern with the tracing paper is you fold it in half, uh, and then you fold it so that you create triangles, and then you draw on one of the triangles, whatever you want. And then you use the rest of the paper to replicate the pattern. So you keep filling up the triangles with what you drew in the first one. You keep folding the paper and moving it around. We sat at JJ Bean doing this on some scraps. She brought scraps and uh, asked me to bring a couple of my drawings because I used a portion of the drawing to do the first one and honestly I was just blown away I was like what did you just show me like 
I was overwhelmed with joy. It was incredible. Which might be a weird thing to say about drawing, but sometimes that's how I feel about art. I get overwhelmed and it stirs emotions. Two more faces. Can you guys see what's happening here? Of course you can. <laughs> uh, I haven't lifted my pen or marker. I don't, I guess it's a marker, a squeezable marker. I want to get, uh, next time I go to the dollar store, I think I'll get a roll on deodorant so that we can make one of these. I've got some India ink. We need a roll on deodorant, a sheet of felt, some ink. So we take the roll on deodorant and we pop out the ball. And fill it with ink and then stuff the hole with um <laughs> sorry I'm concentrating with the felt and the felt soaks up the ink and it's basically becomes a marker like this but the reason why I want to try it is because maybe we can fold the felt into like a finer line. That's it. What do you guys think? Cool, huh? Oh, I see a couple lines that I missed. All right, I'm going to cheat and go back in. I'm going to make her lips a little bit stronger here. Part of her sunglasses here. Here part of the hair kind of running across this face. Well, there you have it. I'm gonna have to look at this one for a little while. The next one has a little bit less in the way of like detail. I like to give a couple days in between doing these because I, I like to look at it and think about how I'm going to do the next one. It's all just a bit of a process. And this one took seven minutes. Interesting. All right. Stay tuned for number two.